hi everyone welcome back to my channel For today's video I'm going to talk about what I personally feel are the best foundations for dry skin I have picked out some of the ones that I personally find the best for me as I have dry skin so I just thought that I would share them with you and kind of give a bit of a review about each one and why I like them I was going to do them in an order, I was going to do like dark coverage to heavy coverage but um, there's a few that I have that are from the same brand so I think I'm just going to do them in brand and explain why I like each one. So the first one is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, this is the old packaging one. This is by far my favourite drugstore foundation, the coverage is really good, it's really buildable and it's just really nice on the skin, like it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup, like I, I like a good coverage foundation but I hate to feel like it's caked. On. The colour range in this is really really good, that's obviously why it's called True Match Foundation but um, yeah no I really really like it and I kind of can't go wrong with this. I think for a drugstore foundation it's really really good and it's cheap as well. So the next brand that I'm going to mention is MAC. Um, MAC foundations, how do I feel about them? One of the very first things I bought from MAC was a foundation and I bought the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NW25 is what I was matched with. I thought it was amazing, I thought it was the best foundation I've ever used um, and then I had dry patches all over my face, really bad dry patches and I was like what? Like this was before I even knew that I had dry skin. Um, I was probably like 15, 16 at the time and I was just like what is this all over my face? If I have dry skin then stay away from the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Do not go near it. If you have no dry patches on your skin you'll just end up with them after about a week. So if you do like MAC products then these are the ones that I would suggest. So for a very light coverage face and body, I describe this as literally like tinted water. Um, this is a very very light coverage. You can kind of build it up a little bit but not to a medium coverage at all. It's still a very light coverage. Perhaps you maybe have rosy red cheeks naturally and you want to sort of cover them then this will just about cover them if you do build it up that's for a light coverage then for a medium to full coverage I would suggest the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation I use this and literally within a few days of using it my dry patches completely went so if you have dry skin and you want to get a MAC Foundation Studio Sculpt is the one the shade is NW20 but it's just so orange this just looks so orange on me. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. I do quite like this one. Um, I haven't used it recently, but um, I do quite like this. One thing I will say from personal experience um, about getting matched in MAC is make sure you are 100% happy with how the foundation looks. If you think it's too dark for you, say it's too dark. If you think it's too light, it's like anywhere, but just because I'm talking about this product um, and from personal experience with MAC, um, make sure you are 100% happy even like step out of the shop have a look outside in the daylight because it looks completely different under strip lighting than it does outside in daylight so just make sure you're 100% happy when I first went into MAC I was matched NW25 which I really feel like the bog standard colour for someone who is a similar skin tone to me um, however it turns out I'm more of an NW13 um, and if you know MAC shades, there are six shades in between NW25 and NW13, so they were way off. What I'm going to say is just make sure that you're 100% happy with how it looks. Don't feel like you need to just buy it because they've put it on your face. That's what they're there to do. To be fair, the colour match just stopped me from buying from MAC. And then about a year ago, I went back and bought a load of stuff for my kit. Um, which sort of reminded me of MAC foundations and products so um, yeah all I'm going to say is just make sure that you're 100% happy because at the end of the day it's your dollar, it's your dollar. MAC isn't cheap. So next up one of my favourite brands ever, Chanel. Okay so starting off again with the light coverage foundation, this is the Vitalumia Aqua, similar to MAC face and body however it's just loads better. Um, this is more of a buildable coverage so it's not going to go to a medium coverage at all, it will still be really light but at the same time it will just sort of smooth everything out and you won't be left with blemishes. So yeah that is that one, love that. I just realised that I didn't mention any of the prices but I'll leave all of the prices in the description box. I don't want to be telling people the wrong prices but this one is Chanel, this is £36. If you are after a heavier coverage foundation but a more high end foundation, Chanel Perfection Lumiere. This stuff, like I used this and I was absolutely obsessed with it, like I was like it's the best foundation I've ever tried, like I loved it. This pricey, it's pricey, it's £36, however it made my skin 
look flawless and I absolutely love it. Um, I have it in the shade 12 Beige Rose which I'm pretty sure is the lightest shade that they do in this one. So if you are pale like me then this will probably be your shade. Love it, absolutely love it. It comes with a pump which is always handy in high end foundations because they don't like to put a pump in the high end ones. You, like MAC you have to buy a pump, um, NARS don't do pumps. They might do a pump on one of their foundations. Ooh, don't quote me. But um, yeah, this is the Perfection Lumiere foundation. This is amazing. This is definitely a medium to full coverage foundation. I love it. Recommended to me by a friend and I loved it and tried it. I saw a photo of her and I was just like, your makeup looks amazing. What foundation are you wearing? And she was like, this one. So I was like, yeah, but I'm gonna get it. I absolutely love that foundation. And then the last one is my current favourite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Now I'm just going to do a quick test actually. So this is my perfect shade, like this foundation is my perfect shade. I'm shade 2, fair pale. So I'm just going to squeeze a bit of this so you can see like the actual colour of my skin. Then let's get the MAC one that I've been matched with. So ridiculous how different they are. Charlotte Tilbury, MAC. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury, MAC. So, Charlotte Tilbury is by far my favourite. Just compared it to the MAC Studio Sculpt that I was matched with. Actually, I wasn't matched with this one. That's a lie. This is a shade lighter than the one I was matched with. It couldn't be more different, the colours. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury products for me are just on another level. This is cheaper than the Chanel one. It's £29.50. But number one, the packaging is so cute. It's got like a rose gold lid on it. Um, I'm wearing it today, so hopefully you can kind of see what it's like. Um, I haven't got a lot on. This is a medium to full coverage, but it's not too heavy at all. Um, it's really nice. They have a lot of colours. People at Charlotte Tilbury Counters are always so lovely and helpful. I have a review on this over on my blog, which I'll link below in case you want to read more about it. Um, but this is the best foundation I have ever, ever tried. The only thing I will say is it comes with a pump, which is brilliant. Nice. You have to like, when you're down to the bottom, you really have to like scoop it out. That's the only thing but I would go through that to have this foundation. Yeah, this is by far my favourite and I use it every single day, it's my go-to foundation. And I can't really see myself changing it anytime soon. If you do find it difficult to find a foundation that matches your skin, personally, if it's within your budget, I would say go for a higher end foundation because they do have a wider range of colours and they're more likely to match. And that is the end of this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope it was informative to someone and I hope it helps someone who is maybe looking for a foundation. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. All of my social media links are in the description box below as always. Like I'm talking really, really quick. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, feel free to message me on any of those if you wish. I will see you very, very soon for another video.